Aquaculture is the fastest growing form of food production in the world, providing over half the world's seafood supply. Also called seafood farming, aquaculture involves the cultivation of fish, shellfish, such as oysters, clams, and mussels, and aquatic plants like kelp. Here in the U.S., we're discovering that marine aquaculture has great potential to produce safe, healthy seafood and create jobs and economic activity at America's working waterfronts. Right now, interest in marine aquaculture in the U.S. is growing. An exciting project in New Hampshire is bringing commercial fishermen, lobstermen, and researchers together to explore the economic opportunity and environmental benefits of growing several complementary species in the same location. Also known as integrated multi-trophic aquaculture, fishermen on the Piscataqua River are farming steelhead trout in pens surrounded by blue mussels and sugar kelp. Researchers believe growing these species together will be mutually beneficial to each species and reduce nutrient load to surrounding water. At the same time, the fishermen are getting hands-on experience in the practice of seafood farming as a complement to fishing, and they're creating a steady source of revenue for their families. There's six other fishermen plus myself that have become involved in this particular project, and we're working in concert with the University of New Hampshire to get the technical support and some of the biological support that we need. I think we have the capacity to develop this. We have a good working knowledge of our local conditions, our waterfront. We are learning, but I think we bring in an inherent knowledge that we've gained from our primary fisheries so that we can just add that to our repertoire of ability to make a living on the water. It's a manual process where we can scoop the net fish out till we have what we need, harvest them, and then we bring them to a local fish market where they're processed and filleted, and then they distribute them to the restaurant community or, or the retail community. The first steelhead trout that, that came into my restaurant were so spectacular. It was such a uh, unprecedentedly beautiful farmed fish. As this thing develops and matures, we can supplement our income, I think, adequately enough so that we can maintain our businesses. We've seen the lobster industry the last few years kind of, you know, you're catching a few lobsters, but the price is uh, really low. So. You're not making a lot of money. We're hoping that in the years to come it does get better, but if it doesn't, hopefully these, these young guys will uh, be able to sustain their lives by growing the fish. The U.S. is the second largest consumer of seafood, yet we rank 15th in total aquaculture production behind countries such as China, India, and Brazil. Currently, we import over 90% of our seafood, half of which is from aquaculture. Getting commercial fishermen engaged in marine aquaculture provides direct economic support to the fishermen, waterfront industries, and surrounding communities, while at the same time helping to fill our growing demand for seafood here at home. Shortly after the steelhead trout success, we were able to work with sugar kelp, which is an ingredient that has so many applications. And that program through NHC grant has helped us look at things like aquaculture as maybe one of the most promising futures that we have for, for seafood in our area. You know, making aquaculture available to fishermen is, is really a natural. They're on the water every day. They want to stay on the water. They're facing financial hardships. They have the skills needed to succeed in it. All they need is a little bit of advice and you know a little bit of a kickstart. This particular area has 400 plus years of maritime heritage which includes the fishing industry and it's under a lot of stress right now with a variety of, of, of issues that surround fisheries. This helps maintain that maritime heritage, maintains the fishing aspect to this community and assures that it has some future. We're, while we're going through this tough time to develop something new that hasn't been done here before. It represents the character of what this community is about and we don't want it to be forgotten.